now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And it is super exciting to buy a home. I am one of those new home buyers as well, moving in in February. So uh, having a lot to plan and think about, obviously getting through winter is one of them, including snow. We have two chances for snow this coming up week. Today, though, it was too warm for that. Instead, we just saw a little bit of rainfall roll through the area. Temperatures were kept fairly seasonal, right around 42 degrees is normal. We were up to about 43. The radar showing us no rain right now. That has all pushed out of here. We instead, we're going to see some fog starting to build. I'm already noticing that visibility as a concern out toward Parkton, where it's down to about a quarter of a mile. I don't think anything will turn too dense, but you will definitely notice tonight, probably lingering until we get close to about one 2 a.m. that fog really beginning to thicken up your temperatures for you currently we're looking at 39 degrees in Essex good evening to you in Annapolis you're sitting now at 40 degrees as you get ready for dinner the low pressure system and occluded front moved through the region and that's what brought us the precipitation and it's going to stay with the fog as well now that it's getting out of here though our winds are really going to shift they'll be out of the northwest so it kicks out that moisture we're trying to dry things out although it's really a struggle because the cloud coverage will in fact be in place so just noticing mostly cloudy skies tomorrow i think we'll end up seeing a few breaks of sunshine but temperatures will be into the seasonal mid 40s for us then get ready as we head through tuesday there's a trough of low pressure that will move through the area and that tries to spark some snow activity it's a very low chance only a 20 percent shot which means most of us will stay dry if we do pick up anything though it's really looking like maybe 0.2 of an inch so really just call it a trace right We'll detail it up for you hour by hour. Starting things off in your hour by hour forecast, 8 a.m. tomorrow, you can see the overcast skies. We are optimistic thinking we'll get a little bit more break in the cloud coverage than what this model is indicating for us. Uh, continuing to watch the clouds though throughout the day. Now the big change comes Tuesday at 7.30 in the morning. Look at this out over toward Moncton, pulling through Sparks. Hampstead might get a little bit of that light blue. That's the snowfall coming down. Bel Air, maybe the wintry precipitation. Staying with you until you get to the 10.30 a.m. hour. And then we'll end up really just staying mostly cloudy and seasonal. That's going to be the trend for the next two days. But we're not done with it just quite yet. There is a front that's in our forecast by Friday. Watch what it does. Notice that shading in blue coming through right around 7 p.m. It has it now in Virginia Beach. But most models are indicating that some of that could trickle its way out toward Maryland. In fact, we'll call about a 30% chance of it. So for tomorrow, before we get any of this wintry precipitation, although the chances of it are very slight, you'll end up seeing mostly cloudy skies with temperatures around 11 a.m. at 41 degrees. Once you get to 1 o'clock, you're now looking at 44. Your 70 forecast for you tomorrow going for a high of 45 degrees. Then on Tuesday, 44. And remember, there's that 20% chance. So it's an isolated a snowfall event for us. And it's not really looking to anticipate much. High pressure then begins to move on in. We'll see more sunshine Wednesday and Thursday before we get that next chance of snowfall on Friday. That's a look at your 70 forecast. Mallory, over to you. Thank you, Sabrina.